This is my 1993 Toyota Pickup 3.0 3VZE V6 engine. I'm going to show you guys how to replace your O2 sensor. On this particular engine, you only have one O2 sensor and it's right before the Cadillac converter. So this right here is the Cadillac converter and this way is towards the engine. <coughs> so really, really simple. You just go ahead and unplug the electrical connector right behind here. It's held by two 12 millimeter bolts. And the hardest part of this installation is just getting those nuts off because if it's been on there forever, it's pretty rusted out. So you might want to drive it around, let it get hot, and then let it cool down for a little bit. And then while it's still kind of warm, go ahead and spray some PB Blaster and let it sit overnight and then go ahead and take them out. I was able to take mine out with easy. So once you go ahead and remove that out, they just come out really, really easy. And I already removed my nuts. So you have this heat show first. Go ahead and save this heat show. And then you have the O2 sensor. And then you have a gasket. And most of the time they'll give you a new gasket. Okay guys, so here's the new one. I always recommend with Toyota, make sure you get a good one. And I always recommend nothing but the Denso brand. You can get them from your local parts stores, but it's about almost a hundred bucks. But if you buy it on Amazon, it's only like 50 bucks. So I order mine on Amazon if you're not in a rush for it. Part number 234. 4052 this is for the Toyota 3.0 so it'll come with a new O2 it'll come with a new gasket and also I recommend you guys replace the nuts these were the old nuts you can see how it's all nice and crusty so make sure you go to your local hardware store just get some new nuts and make sure you get these kinds and then also use a crush washer don't buy the lock nuts buy the crush washer and just a regular nuts so make sure you put some new nuts in there it'll make it easier for the next guy or the next time you have to replace your O2 sensor so we're gonna go ahead and slap this on and then also put the heat shield on and then go from there now I'll show you guys the aftermath all right guys so this is what it should look like new O2 sensor with the gasket new crush washer new nut with the heat show and then you can just zip tie it to the you can just zip tie it to your connector um, it's it's slightly loosely wrapped around the torsion bar here So if you guys are thinking that it's gonna be too tight, don't worry This is loose enough for it, but you just want to make sure that this wire doesn't touch the exhaust pipe So it doesn't melt or uh, just find a way to hang this up there But yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do for no two sensor super easy job Just go ahead and buy the $50 part and do it yourself Don't pay a shop and uh, this should help you with any check engine light if you're having an O2 check engine light or something like that or if you have crappy grass mileage having a new O2 sensor will actually help you improve that too and it helps improves a lot of stuff so just go ahead and get yourself a new O2 sensor if you don't have a record when it was replaced or if it's an old truck so yeah go ahead and swap it out and make sure you take notes of when you install it at how many miles you installed it so it's always good to keep record on it hope this video helped you guys have a good time and I'll uh, see you guys next time bye bye